Hola y bienvenido a Styling Your Lipstick. El pintalabio que tengo puesto para este video es by Buxom Cosmetics and it's called Aurora. I hope you can read backwards. <laughs> Let's unbox the new Bottega Veneta Flash High Chelsea. Let's get into it, bitches. The box is gorgeous. It's giving me Christmas vibes, signature color, and then that red bow. I was like, Mama Mia, when I got it in the mail, I was like, it's definitely Christmas morning, even though it's not Christmas, but it's okay. If it could be Christmas every day, why wouldn't I want it to be Christmas every day, right? Because Christmas is a beautiful time of the season. Okay, I need another coffee. Ah! The beautiful box I'm gonna keep forever. It comes with the dust bags, and this is really thick. This is one of the thickest dust bags that I have in my collection. And obviously, there's two for each boot. Okay, usually this is the point in the video that I go crazy because I have a beautiful item in my hands. But look. I don't know, I think the light is washing it out, but it's dirty. They sent me a boot that's dirty. It's dirty. Let's look at the other one. Oh my God, look at this. Somebody wore these boots already and they're all dirty there and they didn't have the audacity to actually clean them. This looks worn. <sighs> all right, it's in my hand, so let's just do the first impression and tell you a little bit about it. But you rest assured I will be returning these and get me a brand new one because these are not inexpensive boots. So I expect the best. Who doesn't, right? These are the Flash High Chelsea boots and this color in particular is called Black Lemonade. And this is the color that I went for. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so disappointed right now. You know, I was looking forward to them, but it's okay. Here they are. They are leather, they're knee high. They have that stretch material right here that you can see and you have this part right here which you probably wonder why some boots have this but this is to help you tug up the boot so you can get it up your leg i love this color this is a heavy boot not light by any means but when it comes to boots i kind of like expect it already most of my boots are pretty heavy not super heavy but they're substantial this is all rubber right here and as you can tell it's already a con the fact that it gets dirty but this is rubber, so it'll be easier to actually clean off, maybe with a little bit of water or something like that, unless you scratch it. This is giving me more of an ivory color. It's coming across true to color on the screen. You definitely have three other colors that I'm aware of comes in. Black Neptune, which is like this beautiful aqua color. That's another one that I actually like, but I kind of opted for a lighter one. It comes in Black Grass, which seems to be the most popular one. It feels like every time I check the websites, that's the color that's sold out the most. And then you have Black Flamingo, and it's kind of like a corally type of color. Now, I love pink, and I have a hair in my eye. I wish it was more of like a pastel type of pink, because then I probably would have gone for that color but because it's giving me more of a which is a perfect name flamingo vibe pink with a little bit of coral i kind of didn't like that color i believe it also comes all in black these are beautiful this costs 1790 dollars these are type of boots that will last you forever they're rugged they're meant to take a lot of like the elements out here especially the city i find these to be such a great city boot because if you live in a city that's all concrete and metal like new york city boots like this go a long way and you tend to walk a lot in the city these are made in italy i purchased mine not through the bottega veneta website i purchased mine through farfetch and i'm shocked that i actually received something like this by farfetch but farfetch is a website that pulls inventory from many different countries in the world and different boutiques and stores and things like that so i guess wherever i got this from they didn't pay attention to this part here because this is really sad if you ask me. Rubber is great for the elements out there. This is for the winter. It's going to keep you warm. It's rigid inside this part here. This leather part is very hard and substantial. But if you have thicker legs, be advised that there is a stretch material here that's going to give you ample room to lay and be able to slide it up your leg. This has no zipper. If you have problems normally trying to get boots up your leg, 
that don't have a zipper then you might want to keep that in mind this might be a little bit more harder for you to wear but once you get it on they are super comfortable and these are perfect with anything i feel like sometimes a lot of people just give it way too much thought like how do you wear boots like this i mean you can't wear you can wear this with anything you can wear this with tights you can wear this with shorts you can wear this with skirts you can wear this with long dresses you can wear this with pants either tuck them in if you can or put them over and you still have a look there so versatile i love this color i wanted to get this color because it's the perfect type of yellow for me i think that's what makes these boots more exciting because if it was all black i would find this really boring to be quite honest with you but the fact that it has a flash of color hence the name flash it's what makes these boots super interesting and then in the midst of winter here where everything is like black gray dark wearing something with a flash of color like this is just so fun and it's gonna make me happy true to size because this is a size nine american which is a 39 european that is my exact size to a t upon first wearing them they are hard and rigid because they are leather and you have to break them in a little bit i have pretty thin legs and they are very secure and in play if you have thicker legs it might be a little bit tighter for you here but from here to the bottom it's all hard you just have to break it in but walking them once you break them in they're definitely comfortable if you have a high arch this part here might bother you a little bit because for me i have a semi high arch and it's a little bit tug right here, but I know it's nothing that I can't deal with. I'm wearing them with thick socks, so keep that in mind that they do feel a little bit tighter wearing them with thick socks. But that's how I intend to wear it for the winter because I'm not gonna go around wearing nylon and freeze my ass, right? <laughs> but yeah, I love them, I love them. They're beautiful. These boots are super round in the front and very chunky. If you feel self-conscious about having thicker feet or something along those lines, then these might not also be for you because I have thin feet and then wearing the boots and looking at the boots, they make my feet look thicker, but not obnoxiously thicker. It's just more aggressive looking type of thicker. These do add weight and bulk to your feet so you might not like that but these boots are super hot they're super flattering they're nice and tight around my legs and make it look long and lean and sexy and i truly love them what is my verdict you ask i say run don't walk to get these boots if you're looking to add a designer boot to your collection thumbs up or thumbs down subscribe today and embark on a more magical and fashionable lifestyle smash that notification bell and don't miss out my next video don't forget to watch my next video